Why, hello there, this is Vassar Vimes, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last time, we pretty much finished the Ferris mission, which means that main mission-wise, the next item on the docket is Furmire, but I'm going to put that off as long as humanly possible until I've completed all the side mission, random exploration, uh, flippity gibbet that I can access at this time. I'm going to be starting off with the Bring Down the Sky DLC, uh, but before I can get to that, there are a fair number of people that I need to talk to. I, I, I don't see why I would talk to you, but hello. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I, I already gave you your data. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. What's going on here? That's very good news indeed. Thank you. Uh, no problem. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here. You am I am I going to be given the Thanks stuff again, twice? Commander. I was paid twice for the same data because he's just got like really super short term memory loss. Interesting. Or no long term memory or something. It'll be tough going. We'll make this a home. You sure will. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be alright. <laughs> Thank you. I saved everyone I could. Okay? It's not like I skimped on anything. It was just who's your whatsy? The the guy that shot himself in the head that I couldn't say. These are all refugees I have no real interest in talking to. Hello. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. I'm sure you'll do what you can. Oh now I have time for personal questions. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I think there I is. You've been cloned by a Genesius giant disciples. plant. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Yeah. That was kind of sad. But, uh, couldn't be helped. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Okay, I think it's actually time we just leave. So, bye, Pharos. Bye, Sus Hope. Bye, everybody. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I'm quite sure I don't look pale. <laughs> This line is for white shepherds. I just need some time to let this cipher do its thing. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Kinky. Alright. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. You gonna do that black eye thing? Commander. Embrace eternity. Yep. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. I look the same, you though. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. So I can't sort it out with the cipher? You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Well, what does Saren's ship have to do with it? Is it like Prothean technology or something? What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, 
what was there at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. <laughs> Back I'm to sorry. the medway. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. You could just act, ask Dr. Chakwas. You could say, I really enjoy sleeping in the med bay. Can I stay here? Even though I'm not sick, you don't have to pretend. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, uh -huh. drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. You don't have to keep sucking up. We've already started a romance. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Oh boy. Yeah, I suppose. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. True. I'd have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Are you serious right now? I thought it was the Turian counselor's job to get on my case. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Dude, dude. I was just beginning to enjoy the peace and quiet from the last time I spoke with the counselors. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Is that foreshadowing? Am I gonna have to sacrifice some humans? That sounds really dark. I don't want to do that. Alright, let's have a look around to see if anyone's got anything to say. Hi, Joker. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. That's a solid plan, Joker. Good to, he good to hear what you've got to say. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Yep, he doesn't have anything further. Just the, the quick quip, and then he's done. Alright, downstairs. I don't know why I'm nervous about this. I actually quick saved before I got in here. Hello. What's happening here? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yeah, sure. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Didn't didn't you already go through this? Yeah, she's awesome. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Okay. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. Is it also a physical exchange? You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge. Identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. Oh, All right. You're hyping this up a lot. You better be good, Liara. Yeah. Are you saying you want to... No! Oh, no! Oh. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, <laughs> Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. 
Well, that's that also the case for... I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. It's also the lifeblood of humanity. It's kind of how we procreate and such. Most of the time. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. Somehow, even by being reserved, she's coming across quite strong. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. You're gonna do this to me, are you? This is a very tolly move. Bye. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Well, that was kind of sweet. Didn't didn't make me want to backpedal. Like all our previous conversations have. Not all our previous conversations. Just like the last one it was like. Oh, you mean so much to me, Shepard. Hello. Anything you need, Commander? Ah. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. Okay, they can they can read about him, but I mean it's dead. So I'll intriplicate, I'm sure. Did you want to see me? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. So, people's dialogue is starting to repeat. I think. Maybe he just always talks about this. I don't know. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. Who's Vernus? I don't I don't know who Vernus is. What? Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Who the hell is Vernus? Vernus. I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Payback for what? Did we miss a dialogue option? And we don't know what happened? Payback for what? I'm so confused. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. Oh. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Yeah. Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. Jesus. And that's when the knife came up. What? A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Ooh. I was as strong as I could manage now. At 17, that's something. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, was he alright? You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble. Oh, but Jesus. I, I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. So this was a commanding officer, or it snapped his neck. Wow. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough, but they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Tyrion. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. 
It's valid. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Thank you. It's interesting that he was allowed to advance as much as he has when he killed his biotics trainer, whatever that guy was. I don't know. All right. Now you four. Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people. She's very abrupt. I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I don't know. She's she's being I'm very tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. She's being very confrontational. So you decided to go your own way. I decided killing for credits was better than killing for a lost cause. You do you, man. It's not my I'm business. Not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line. Killing for credits simplifies things. It's your your choice, dude. You ever think about helping your people? Okay, come on. <laughs> I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Yeah. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. I'm wondering if Krogans actually have a real population problem. Seems like there's a fair number of them around. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. That's the dream. The Krogan dream. I've tried more organized fighting. Private armies and such. But it gets too messy. I fight best on my own. Or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me. And I bloody well don't like relying on them. I can relate. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay. Now, Ashley. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. Yeah! What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Yeah, I'm totally up for that. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. Nope. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? Nope. There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. Skeletons in the closet. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The okay. only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Oh, I see. Yes, I see. You're blacklisted because of your grandfather's No, don't, artist. don't say Cowards. that. That's what the Terra Firma party calls it. I, I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserves better than that. <sighs> Renegade Shepard always does things that I, I, I don't approve of. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. That was only 26 years ago? I guess we're pretty forgiving. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. Interesting. 
Yeah, not 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 his fault. I mean, he didn't have any previous experience in fighting aliens. Is this why you're always going on about the council? If everyone else can look at Shan Chi and say, this is why humanity needs to be stronger, then so can I. I'm entitled. So now you know. You gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? Of course not. You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO who's ever said that to me. Thanks, Skipper. Of course. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. What's your opinion of the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, they, they didn't have the option. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. I like the way she says, dismiss, Chief. Even if I don't always like Ashley. Commander, I... What can I do for you? What's up, dude? Something bothering you? It's Aaron. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find you. Of course we will. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. Gonna be fine. Don't be pessimistic. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can. And if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Huh? That's, that's what I typically do. Press space and order your places. That's how it works. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Shoot. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really Not driving really. their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Act how? Like, execute him? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Well, narratively, I doubt we'll capture him. <laughs> that wouldn't be very satisfying. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But yeah. only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. Well, he'd be an example to anyone who tries to behave similarly. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. For one yes, thing, I want to know all about his ship. There's something hinky going on with that thing. And finally, Tully. These conversations have been a lot more efficient than previous times. Hey, Tully. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. I suppose so. I have no idea of whether I'm close to the end of this game. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. You're vital, Tali. We couldn't have done this without you, Tali. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Aww. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I think Quarians might be my favorite alien. I don't know, I, I know a lot about them because Tali has told me so much and they're super interesting. So it makes me sad to hear that uh, they're treated badly. 
I didn't bring you along as a favor, Tally. You're here because you contribute to the mission, and I need all the help I can get on this one. Don't worry. It's kind of cold. You can always count on me. Have we co covered all of this? Yep. Yes, we have. Bye, Tally. I should go. See you later. I like that we didn't have to do that thing where we say that we want to talk about something else and then we leave. So that's all the, uh, the conversation. We wrap that up quite quickly. Now I'm going to head back up and we're going to head over to wherever Bring Down the Skies takes place. Okay, get out of Ferris. And I believe it was Asteroid X57 where it takes place. Asgard? Yeah. Bye, Ferris. You were nifty. And I like your giant ass towers. I don't know what to expect with this. It's a uh, DLC. Well, I, I want to bring Garrus and Caden. No, Ashley. Yeah. Apparently, we haven't got any biotic. We could do the human pair, I suppose. Yeah, sure, why not? All humans. Status. Sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid X-57. At its current rate of acceleration, the asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Analysis. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. Okay. Gotta shut down some fusion torches. The name of the game. Okay, there's a question mark behind me. So I guess that's where we're going. Oh gosh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's Terra Nova, so it's like um, a planet terraform to look like Earth. It's supposed to be like an entire planet colony for humans. Okay. What's going on here? It's a body. Logic Arrest Tool VI. Oh. This victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. It's likely he surrendered, on, only to be executed by his sadistic captors. What dicks. Okay. What's going on in here? Aid station? Station logs. Survey station three final entry. Logged by Engineer G. Mendel. Like the botanist guy that tells you how to do genetics. Uh, the central tr transmission tower is on the fritz again. No one ever listens to my warnings about single points of failure. I'm surprised your surface comms work half as well as they do. When sl Slay Sladges? I don't know. Shows up to relieve me. I'll go see if I can get the old girl back up and running. Fascinating. So our map has been updated? Oh gosh. So we're right here. And we have to check. That's the fusion torch. These are the fusion, fusion torches that we have to disable. 
I guess we'll go to the transmission tower first. Actually, I know this is like barely begun, but I'm gonna cut it off here and see if I can fit the rest of this DLC into the next episode. So everybody stay peachy.